you have the zygomatic cutaneous ligament. By far the strongest aspect of that is right on the angle of the zygoma on this line. So it's really important, first of all, not to get too focused on individual ligaments first, but to picture the distribution of the ligaments, because that really helps your understanding a lot more. Um, if you actually look at the distribution of the ligaments, most of them fall on an angle between the lateral and the anterior face. And this is the the change in the function of the face is, is overlaid by the anatomy. So as you move from being focused more on communication to focus more on mastication, that's where the line of ligaments is. So they are almost forming that boundary. So if you actually have a look at this line of ligaments, it starts really with the superior temporal septum. You then have the orbicularis oculi retaining ligament and the, in particular the lateral orbital thickening, which falls on this line. You have the zygomatic cutaneous ligament. By far the strongest aspect of that is right on the angle of the zygoma on this line. Following on underneath that, along the master, you have the upper masteric cutaneous ligaments and then the mandibular septum beneath that. And onwards, finally, to meet with the mandibular cutaneous ligament. So this is the line of ligaments that holds the anterior face in place.